Alright, this is the first squadron. They play on Xbox Series X. Curse of Lewis Entertainment. Oh, uh, so this game is a take on uh, games like Star Fox. And it plays really, really well. Um, this stage here is the last stage of the training. Um, now, I bet you're wondering, well, why, why are you playing the training? Well, <laughs> <laughs> uh, this 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 game's brutal. Um, I'm I'm, I'm not going to sure go to here. This game is just brutal and too difficult, um, with absolutely zero ability to adjust the uh, difficulty. There's no difficulty options here. There is one difficulty, and it just throws a lot at you. And uh, just kind of you to get good. <laughs> um, essentially, is what, is what you have here. Um, now, don't get me wrong. The gameplay is, is solid. I like the gameplay. Um, but the amount that it throws at you with no ability to heal yourself before a boss fight is just almost too much. You're expected to launch... Um, these missiles or these uh, guided guided shots. Well, it's in time trying to avoid being hit. So you take the least amount of damage, leading up to this boss fight, and it's just overly difficult. Because the more damage you take, the harder this boss fight's gonna be. Yeah, you have missiles, but you've got like one, and you've got those stinking enemies right there that will launch themselves at you, like they'll home in on you. And there's no avoiding it. So here's the boss. This is this is how you're gonna get out of the hack simulation by defeating this boss, and this boss is just—it's kind of annoying. Honestly speaking, you take too much damage too easily. I mean, yeah, there's a pattern to it. But you just don't do enough damage. To actually... Uh, do much to this guy. And the missile, for some reason, doesn't do hardly anything. Actually, I'm doing okay this this round, honestly speaking. Better than I thought I was going to be doing. But I got last time I, I I went up against him, I got down to about oh I said like a quarter of his health, and I just got toasted. Although again, I'm doing okay here. I actually might be able to beat it. If I beat it, I'm going to be shocked. Because I've been at this for too long. I might be able to do this. I should do a lot better than I was before. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> oh, see, I got about there. I just got, I just died, and that's it. You either get to give up or retry. You retry, you start the level all over again. So again, this game's extremely brutal. Um, it, 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 it encapsulates 90s games very well. <laughs> I'll put it that way. Um, I believe there should be an adjusted difficulty. I think that would make this game go a long way. 
Um, yeah, I, or maybe like a checkpoint system would be nice, you know? I mean, even Star Fox had a checkpoint system uh, back when it was released in the 90s. It's not too much to ask here, I don't think. But, uh, yeah, First Squadron is a decent game. It's fun. It's extremely challenging, but it needs a difficulty set, like, these difficulty options are at the very least needs a checkpoint system. Better than what it has. Better than starting level all over again. And that may not be true after the training, that, that is a possibility, but even here, there needs to be some kind of a checkpoint system. Restarting the boss would be nice. At least that would give you a fighting chance, in my opinion. But, uh, but yeah, this is the first squadron being played on Xbox Series X. Available across all major platforms. And uh, if you like you know, 90s style games, like Star Fox, you're going to love this game. This game's a, a, a new age Star Fox. And it does an amazing job at capturing the essence um, of the game that it is paying tribute to very, very well. Almost too well, in my opinion. But yet it also deviates from that and the fact that there's no real checkpoint system. Um, and there's no difficulty options. That, that just that, that, that I really hope that gets changed in the future. Because it would make this game so much better. And I'm going to go ahead and give this one more shot. Because I got so close last time. I love the music. The music's amazing. The graphics are nice. Okay, let's see if I can get this boss this time. Again, I love the music in this game. The music is amazing. But the fact you have to use your guided shot every time you want to take and like do decent damage is just kind of kind of annoying, honestly speaking. Thought I had not a chance. <laughs> Alright guys, well I do want to thank the publisher Dolores Entertainment for the for the opportunity. It's been the first water. Xbox Series X. It's a good game, it's a good shooter, it's fun. It's just too steep of a challenge. And I uh, thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing. It's always until next time. Take care and happy gaming.